Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I am going to show you how to get rid of those hard crunchy curls. I mean, let's be honest, it happens. Sometimes you put too much gel, sometimes you use a product that just makes your hair really hard and crunchy, but if I'm being completely honest, I actually like the crunch. I know, it might be kind of weird to you guys, but I mean, definitely comment below if you can relate to this. I prefer using a gel, first of all, or any product that will give me a little bit of crunch or hardness, because that tells me that this is going to make my curls last all throughout the week. You should not be washing your hair every day, you should just be refreshing. And in order to have a good refresh day, you have to start with a really good foundation. And the foundation is that hard, crunchy curl. Now, if you like your curls to be super soft, fluffy, that's fine, but I know for me, somebody with very fine hair, my hair is just gonna look really flat. And in order for me to get this volume, I need a little bit of hold to keep everybody up and lasting throughout the week. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fix this problem. So we're gonna go from these flat, hard, boring, crunchy curls to this big, volumized, soft, defined curls. But before I do this, I need to make sure that we're committed in this relationship. We need to take it to the next level. So I need you to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I am so close to 200,000 subscribers and very close to 50K on Instagram. And as soon as I get there, we're doing a giveaway. So make sure you're following me here on YouTube and Instagram. Push that little bell so you're notified as soon as that giveaway goes live. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So right now, I currently have my favorite gel in my hair, which is the Dippity Doo Girls With Curls Jelly. I've talked about this gel several times, and I think it's safe to say that it's my favorite. It literally costs $4.99 at TJ Maxx. I know, super random. This is like a really old school brand, actually. Like, I guess our moms and grandmas actually use this stuff, but it works so well for my hair. You can tell when a curl is hard, when you could literally like lift it, and it stands straight up. But this means that this curl knows exactly what it wants. It's gonna look like this, and it's going to hold this foundation all week long. Now there's two different ways that you can make your hard curl soft again by using one of two things. The first thing you could use is a set of hands. You literally just crunch your curls and keep scrunching them, and that'll break up the cast. So you could just keep going like this, and eventually your curl's gonna get more volume, and you're gonna get rid of all that crunch by just scrunching it away. Or, you could use a diffuser. This is the Diva Dryer with the Curly Co Diffuser. I have been using this diffuser on my Diva Dryer lately because I feel like it's just faster. So this is what I use, especially on my refresh days. So I'm gonna show you how to use both at the same time. I Meaning I'm going to use my diffuser and use my hands to scrunch and my curls are gonna look fabulous at the end of this. And I'll prove to you that the crunch is actually a good thing. So it is currently 3.25 and I'll show you exactly how long it takes me to diffuse. only diffused for five minutes. Many of you guys ask me if diffusing is allowed in the no heat challenge, and it is because I'm using a low fan speed, low heat, and only for five minutes. That's part of the reason why I do wait for my hair to air dry about 85%, because then I can get the job done really quickly. So now look at my curls now. They are no longer crunchy. I'm able to get some more volume. I have beautiful definition, and my diffuser didn't make my hair frizzy because of that hold. I would not feel comfortable using my diffuser if my curls were one, wet, or just like super mushy and almost too soft, because I know that that soft curl can easily be blown away and create frizz, where if it has a little bit of crunch to it, 
that diffuser is not going to mess up the curl pattern. So now I'm gonna shake this out a little bit more, show you guys my final steps, how I get that final look. I do have bangs, so I have to shake them to the front. And if it's a good day, they'll just act right. If you find any more crunch, you could just keep scrunching until you reach your current desired level of softness. Look at that, guys. Look at it! Look at the definition! Of course, I'm not satisfied with my volume level, so I am gonna grab my pick, and we're going to make this even bigger. This is the final result, and guess what? This is actually my day four hair. I have not washed my hair in four days, and it looks this fabulous. Another way you can make sure that your curls don't get hard is by using a leave-in first. So if you use any type of gel and it just makes your hair like hard as a rock, use a leave-in first and then apply the gel. That'll soften out the gelness. But, as some of you may know, I don't really use leave-in conditioners because it takes away from that crunch that I secretly desire. But to each his own, try it, do what works for you. And once you do, I want you to come back and leave me a comment and let me know how it worked. Do you use a leave-in before your gel? Do you scrunch away the cast? Do you use your diffuser? Leave all your tips and tricks down below as well. I would love to know. And if you learned a thing or two from this video or just enjoyed it, or me in general, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday, and we have to stay curl friends. You've gotta follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.